Sure. Yes. That's great. Well, thank, thank you so much. It's really a tremendous honor for me to be here and to, uh, you know, watch, watch this occasion and, and, and to be a small part of it. Actually, one thing I'm going to have to be careful of now is to make sure everybody in my lab wears uh, gloves and glasses. <laughs> But uh, so, so, you know, we keep learning it. So I, I really just wanted to share a few uh, memories of, of, with ne of, about Nick. And, you know, I, I uh, wasn't exactly sure what to say. I only found out Tuesday that I was uh, going to be speaking. I knew I was going to come, but I didn't know I was going to have to do work. So I uh, actually asked my wife, uh, Laura, to help me um, on, on this. You know, but I guess what I was thinking about as I, as I was thinking about what to reflect on is, just how, how really incredibly close Nick and I have been in, in so many ways. You know, I, in many ways, I actually think of Nick as, as, a, as kind of almost like an older brother. In fact, he's actually born, four, he's born August 25th, 1948, and I'm born August 29th, 1948. And um, there'll be more along those lines in a second. <laughs> but, uh, but it's true. And, and actually, it's not, you know, just show you how nice Nick is. Nick always calls me every single birthday, I think now for the last. 30, 40 years, and wishes me happy birthday. And we actually have quite a few other other similarities. Um, in fact, one of the, the nice things is that uh, you know we've sh shared a lot of students and postdocs, and they've done incredibly well. In fact, I think half the speakers today have had, have you know worked with both of us, and uh, actually maybe more than half. And, and um, we've also worked in the same kind of field, like control drug delivery. Um, and the, this is the next one my wife told me, she said, but the best thing that Nick and I have in common is that we were lucky to find and marry very talented young wives. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, in fact, this is true. We, we were actually, here she wrote this out for me. She said, we figured out a particular brilliant plan around the same time. And we actually were married about exactly 10 days apart. So I was actually married July 31st, um, 1988, and Nick, uh, actually this Sunday, the 10th uh, of uh, August, uh, 1988. Uh, I still actually remember his wedding, and uh, one of the people there at the wedding actually mentioned, you know, this was very much along the lines of what Elijah was saying, saying, well, Nick is now probably thinking about paper 248. Uh, and, uh, but actually, what's interesting, even with our wives, is Lisa, who's Nick's wife, and Laura, who's mine, are both 13 years younger than uh, each of us. Uh, both scientists, both PhDs. Um, so, so that was, uh, you know, so we, so we actually share quite, quite a lot in common. But there are some differences. And, and uh, one of the things that's always been amazing to me is Nick, has, in fact, just this phenomenal knowledge base of actually almost anything. And it's true. I mean, if you want to know the history of anything, you can ask Nick. If you want to know, actually, it's amazing. Like, Nick would tell me for years, he said, Bob, so-and-so got tenure at MIT. And I said, well, Nick, I'm not at MIT, and I didn't know that. <laughs> and it's true. I mean, over and over again, I still find this out. He knows more about what happens at MIT than I do. And, and uh, you know, and so whatever, and, and whenever we, you know, and, and, and if you want to know about music, history, anything, Nick, Nick knows, you know, he'll know it. And uh, so, in fact, you know, I know a lot of people think Google is, you know, Google or Wikipedia, if you want to find things out, that's the place to go. But actually, I don't agree with that. I think actually Nick is the place to go. <laughs> and, and, and along those lines, actually, I remember last year I won some award, and all of a sudden I get this email from one of my uh, former postdocs, Linda Griffith, and she said, Bob, I just heard on the NNN that you won some award. And I said, what, Linda, is, is the NNN? She said, that's the Nick Network News. <laughs> and, and it's true, you know, if you want to know anything, I mean, because it's true, if something good happens to somebody, all of a sudden an email goes out, probably to everybody in this room, probably much of the world, and, and you'll know what's going on in somebody's life. So, so the NNN, I, I think, really surpasses, at least in certain areas, Google, I mean, we can't buy stock in it, but, uh, but it's, it's actually pretty, pretty amazing. Another thing, actually, that, um, you know, I, 
that, that actually came up actually as Balaji was talking, and I, I think about this too, is, you know, Nick actually has tried to teach me a number of things over the years. And, uh, you know, one of the things that I remember is, like, he was, when we were younger, he said, well, Bob, you know, you probably could dress a little better. <laughs> In fact, that's, that's probably putting it nicely. <laughs> You know, in fact, I, everybody probably that knows me is probably, that I even got tonight quite a few comments, like, how come I'm wearing a coat and tie? And it's true, like my students, I, I have this thing sometimes where once a year I get together with my students and I say, you can ask me any question you want. And almost every year people say, well, how come you never wear a coat and tie? And I say, well, the only time I usually wear a coat and tie is when I was trying to get my small children into private school. Yeah. <laughs> because they sort of have to do that. But I actually felt, in honor of Nick, I would try to wear a coat and tie tonight. And, and when I, and that's true, when I was a graduate student, I actually had uh, one coat and tie. And the coat, I think, cost about $20. And the tie, I think, was less than a dollar. And, but over the years, you know, largely because of Nick's influence, I kind of did better. I remember, actually, a number of years after that, I actually had to give a lecture at Purdue. And Nick invited me to stay at his house. And I, by that time, actually was quite proud of myself. I, by that time, I had three ties and um, a couple of sport coats. And I remember staying in Nick's house, and Nick, I, I was in his bedroom, and he opens up this, this closet, which is, I think, bigger than this room. <laughs> and there are, I think, probably over 100 sport coats and I think 500 ties. It was something, and, and I think close to 100 shoes, too. I remember right. But I realized like, it would never be possible to, to do that. But I at least wanted to wear a coat and tie tonight uh, in, in honor of, of Ned. Uh, and you know, and, and, and you know, for me, I, I you know, I, Nick and I share almost everything. You know, I think uh, one of the things I always look forward to is like I drive home from work and I play my voicemail, and Nick and I actually communicate through voicemail or email. But you know, but I always have, and, and it's great. I have this long voicemail. Or her email, and then I know what's going on in the world. At least important things in chemical engineering and stuff like that. And uh, but you know, there's no limit to what what Nick knows and can share. But actually, as I thought about coming here tonight, actually the single you know, I want to share with you all these thoughts. But the single thing that I want to share the most is just what a wonderful, wonderful friend Nick has been. And, and, it's just to me, he really is like a like a brother, and, and always will be. And I uh, I certainly look forward to to uh, 2018 and um, and and you know 818. But I, I just really want to thank him so much for just being uh, such an incredibly close friend and everything that he's done. Just wish him all the best uh, in all the years to come. So thank you for giving me this opportunity. <laughs> Nick, uh, I just want to congratulate you again on your 60th birthday celebration. You know, for me to hear all of the talks by your students, uh, you know, and your postdocs and your colleagues tonight, it's just been uh, thrilling. And, and actually, I thought the talk you gave uh, at the end was just so touching. I, 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 I loved hearing it, both the philosophy, or, you know, actually, I learned a lot of things. I didn't even know that story about Tony and, uh, and the hotel and Lisa. And, and I mean, I just thought everything was terrific. And it's just, just so such a wonderful event and just uh, honored to just be a part of it. And really, you've just been such a wonderful, wonderful friend. And I, uh, I just couldn't be more pleased to be here today. Thanks, Nick, and congratulations.